NASA is best known for its work in space, but it's also constantly analyzing our planet Earth. And its most recent discovery is raising alarm bells. NASA has concluded 2014 was the hottest year on record. NOAA, the American Climate Monitoring Organization, and Japan's weather agency have come to the same conclusion. We've known for a while now the Earth is warming. These three separate reports, though, show just how fast it's happening. Eric Sorensen looks at the evidence. Eric? Donna, 2014 was the warmest year, and it was in the warmest decade, and that's what matters, the trend. And you can see, since 1880, every 20 years, a little more gold color as the planet gradually warms up, especially since the year 2000. And you can see that steady rise over the last 135 years of 0.9 degrees Celsius. It doesn't sound like much, but it's making a big difference. The entire planet is warming up. The evidence is in the obvious things, heat waves, droughts, melting glaciers. But in the not so obvious too, more rain, more snow. A warmer planet evaporates more water and brings more bad weather, bigger storms, and it's definitely getting warmer. 15 of the past 17 years have been the warmest years on record. Scientists say the data coming from land stations, buoys on the ocean, and from satellites circling the Earth make it undeniable that man's burning of fossil fuels is warming the planet and changing the climate. We know the temperatures are increasing. We expect them to continue to increase. We just don't know what the rate is. We think of climate and weather in terms of the air around us, but the world is 70% water. It's the ocean's currents, like long conveyor belts, that are warming up the planet. And if you look at this map in 2014, in the red especially, everywhere it's red, it's warmer than average. Almost everywhere on the planet, with one notable exception, around the Great Lakes, where so many Canadians live. So when we endured that polar vortex last winter, not only was it colder than usual for us, we were about the only place on Earth that wasn't basking in warmth. It makes us tougher, that's for sure. We soldiered through it, but don't be fooled. The north is warming faster than mid-latitudes. Arctic sea ice is disappearing every decade. And as a northern country, the impact of global warming on Canada will be greater sooner. There are serious impacts uh, to the far north of Canada. So the Arctic right now is the, uh, the region of the planet that is warming up the fastest. His point, it may seem cold, but Canadians should care about a warming planet. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto. And you'll find a full time lapse of global temperatures from 1880 to 2014 on our website, globalnews.ca.